Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of The Rev, all right? And I wanted to bring to you something that I was talking to someone about over the phone last night, and that is, what did Paul mean when he said, I die daily? I mean, did he mean that he was improving, uh, changing? What does I die daily mean? Well, really, we can look at that from the ancient Hebrew word for repent, okay? The ancient Hebrew word for repent is destroy the house. Destroy the house. And so that puts you in the frame of mind of burning down a house, right? Meaning, hey, you got to escape that place, all right? And repent means to go full force. If you're going to burn down something, that means that that something is not going to be there anymore. So what that means is you never repent of what you do. You repent of who you are. Now, don't get me wrong. You ask for forgiveness for what you do, right? But you repent of who you are. Do you remember where it says in the scriptures that uh, this house, right, or this tabernacle and it talks about your temple your temple right you being the temple of the holy ghost in this earthen vessel right well it talks about this right this man that you see as being a house right or a tabernacle in this case we'll just use the word house in order to destroy the house what do we need to do well, we need to die daily, which means that we're doing more than repenting of our sins. We're repenting of who we are, just like God's mercies are renewed every day. Every morning, his mercies are renewed. Check this out. We should be renewed every day. And this is why Paul said, hey, I die daily. Listen, I repent of who I am every day. Now, remember, you can only mortify the deeds done in your flesh. How? By the spirit of God. This is the necessity for us as the people of God being renewed in the spirit of our mind so that our thoughts right, may become holy imaginations, right? And then those holy imaginations may become holy strongholds so that the Spirit of God can gain the ascendancy over our thought life. This is why Paul the Apostle also talked about the carnal man and the spiritual man. It's all going to take place from within the spirit of that man. So whenever you look at the word repent, remember, it means way more than repenting of what you do. You've got to repent of who you are. You've got to come out of the house every single day because you are being conformed. Come on. <laughs> conformed to the image of God. This is why the scripture says, be not conformed to the world. Right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you could be conformed into the image of the Son of God. Destroy the house. That's what repent means. I die daily. That is what Paul was talking about. Listen, folks, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Send me a comment below. And we appreciate you. Like, share, and subscribe. Man, people need to know this, uh, not only information, but the gospel all over the world. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you. All right, folks, listen, I, I just got this revelation as I was looking at this Hebrew word. <laughs> and this is why Paul was talking about you've got to mortify your members by the Spirit of God. Remember uh, that Moses saw the burning bush, but that bush wasn't being consumed by the fire that he saw. And also remember that God announced himself as a consuming fire, right? Well, check this out. This word right here means consume or fire. 
And this word right here, bet, so this is sheen and this is bet, okay? So consume or fire and then bet. So when God said he is a consuming fire, guess what that means for you and me? <laughs> We've got to have God in the house in order to truly repent because it is God that will bring the destruction <laughs> and the conforming to his image, much like he's going to bring about the heavens and the earth. Remember, Peter said that, yes, there's going to be a new heavens. Yes, there's going to be a new earth, but not until the fire of God burns the rudimentary elements in this universe. Isn't that beautiful? So you've got to have the spirit of God on the inside of the house in order to truly repent.